Well, I'll tell you what, it is a cold and windy one this morning. This is the tail end of Storm Agnes, which has hit the UK in the past couple of days. And you join me just outside a wee town called Durrisdeer. And I'm here to hopefully explore a bothy. But I don't know if you can maybe hear that in the background. There's like shooting going on. I don't know if it's maybe clay pigeon shooting or something like that. So I'm hoping I don't disturb them too much. So I'm going to continue on. So in the past couple of days, we've had some mental winds in Scotland. Gusts of up to 90 miles an hour. And today the forecast is saying gusts of up to 60 miles an hour. It doesn't feel that bad yet, but where I'm going is at about 400 metres-ish. So I'd imagine it's going to get a little bit worse. But I'll be able to get inside the bothy and shelter from the wind, which will be really nice. I don't know if you can see that on the side of the hill. I do not have a clue what is going on there. I like waving these sort of like white things. I am clueless. I think this bothy will probably be one of the most... Oh my God, it's pheasants absolutely everywhere. Yeah, I think this bothy will be one of the most accessible in Scotland. It's only about three kilometers from where I parked the car in that wee town. So if you're looking for a short walk, to a nice bothy. This is probably the one for you. I can't quite see the bothy yet, but I think I'm pretty much just following that track you can see there up into this valley. And it's probably somewhere hidden in there. I do not have the slightest clue what was going on there. I don't know if someone in the comments maybe knows a bit more. Basically there was like 30 cars parked up and I'm not even kidding, they had about, I wanna say a hundred dogs, maybe, just running all over the hills. And I don't really know what they were doing, they were whistling and stuff like that. And I thought I heard gunshots at the start, but it must not have been. But they, they were just getting the dogs to run about. And I don't know why. So if you know any more, then let me know in the comments. That is a sick wee bridge. Oof. Really starting to gain height now. This is pretty steep. Well, I'm nearly there, and you can probably see all the way down the valley behind me now. You can see all the cars parked up that I was talking about. It's quite a nice valley, just got rivers winding its way down. Just open, there's absolutely nothing here, it's just like farmland pretty much everywhere. But I'm nearly there, so I'm going to continue on. Pheasants absolutely love it here. They're everywhere. That is a lot of pheasants. Holy moly. I don't know if you can make out that bird up there. I think that might be an eagle. It's really impressive. The sun as well, just trying to burst its way through, but can't quite make it. I have never seen so many pheasants in my life. This is absolutely mental. There's literally hundreds of them. I don't, I don't understand why. It's no different to any other place in Scotland. Must just love Durrisdeer. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, here we are. Kettleton by our bothy. Quite a nice location, some nice flat grass next to the bothy. Well, let's see what it's like. Oof. It's actually tiny. Random chairs in the corner. Probably sleep like three people maybe. And that's it, it's just one room. It's one of the smallest I've seen. It does look like it has a stove to be fair. Yeah, it's very small. Compared to the other ones I've been to. As you can see, Kettleton by our bothy. I absolutely love just flicking through this and reading about the people that have been here. This is just from 2023. And as you can see, loads of people visiting. I mean, I suppose we're in September, but... Absolutely loads of people. It's pretty cool. And I think that's it. Yeah. It's definitely the least stocked bothy I've seen. If you're planning on coming here, make sure you bring all the sort of cooking, camping equipment, because that's all you have. I mean, there's no shortage of books to keep you entertained if you're bored. That's pretty cool. Which is quite good. Ah, there's a couple things. It's a wee pan there. Just cook <laughs> everything in one pan and you're sorted. I was sort of complaining about people leaving like buckfast bottles and stuff, but I think it may actually be like so people can use them to maybe like fill up water or something. Or I've seen quite a lot of people use them as candles, uh, like wine bottles and stuff. So it may actually be more useful than I first thought. Those are some tired old chairs, but ironically, they actually look <laughs> kind of comfortable. How are the views out the window? Just on to a hill, can't really see too much. I think we should have a wee explore outside, see what's out there. We'll see what's out here. So, nice wee bench. It's pretty good, another wee bench there. And anything round the back? Not really, no, just flat space. Quite nice views onto the surrounding hills. And that spot over there is really good. Super flat, so it means if the bothy was full, you could pitch a tent there. And, and no bother, it's really good. That is the bothy right there. As you can see, it's just, it's absolutely tiny, but it does look quite cool. Just nothing in the surrounding area. And that's the valley heading back down to where I started today. One thing I will say as well is, the path up here is absolutely brilliant. It's like a sort of like farm track, gravel, the entire way. So, you know, if you're worried about boggy grounds or something like that, then don't worry at all because this one is short at only three kilometers and it's a well-made gravel track the entire way up. So you're not gonna have any troubles there. I've just noticed this door right next to, obviously the door to go in. So I'll see what's in here. It's already open as well. All right, okay. Just somewhere to cut wood. Keep it away from the bothy, keep it clean. That's good. Close this back up. That's loud. This is definitely like a lot more of what I thought a bothy would be like before I ever went to my first one. Just a tiny wee hut. I mean, it does the job if it's dead windy like it is today. You can sort of get in here, shelter, and sort of stay warm-ish. But most of the other bothies I've been to are a lot bigger. This is tiny, but yeah, can't complain. It's free. It's kept, you know, good by the Mountain Bothy Association. And you can sort of use it whenever you want. Well, I'm gonna get some food. 
I am absolutely starving. I can hear the winds whistling away outside. It really is a good shelter. Again, just sandwiches. Pretty boring, but does the job. Well, I've just been sitting here for the past, I don't even know how long, maybe half an hour or so, just enjoying some food and enjoying some rest. And I can hear the winds just battering the sides of this body. I don't know if you can hear it as well. But I've just checked the forecast and the wind gusts are to get back up to about 70 or 80 miles an hour. So I was planning on staying here longer. But Storm Agnes is, is not quite done yet, so I'm going to make my way back down that valley with some nice views in front of me and hopefully escape the worst of the weather. Well, this has been really enjoyable. Another brilliant bothy. I mean, just look at that. It is really nice. And this grass area is absolutely perfect. The fact that it's so easily accessible, only three kilometers along a really well-made gravel track is a huge positive as well for the bothy. I'll definitely have to come back here at some point. I've really enjoyed this. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video as well. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll hopefully see you guys next time for another adventure.